Hello Linux fans, welcome to Linux Quest. As always, thank you for watching. So I had a viewer request pertaining to some of the accessibility features within Linux. And so today we want to take a look at a distribution that is focused around people with disabilities. And also we're going to take a look at some of the disability features or accessibility features built into the GNOME desktop. So let's jump over and first take a look at Sonar GNU Linux an accessible OS for people with a disability. So there's a short video here on the website and uh, also the assistive technology which is built into this distribution is listed out. So you have the Orca screen reader, you have screen magnification, as well as an on-screen keyboard, open dyslexic font, the eViCam head and eye tracking software, all of this is built into this distribution. Now I took a look over here at the blog and the latest version appears to be 2016.3 and so you can read through here with some of the updates and everything for version 2016. You've got two, choice, two choices in desktop. That's the GNOME desktop and the MATE desktop and both of these are available in 32 and 64 bit. So definitely take a look at that if you have some interest in um, an accessibility um, version of Linux. Now there are some of these features that are mentioned within um, Sonar Linux that are built into the accessibility features of the GNOME desktop. So we're going to take a look at those. Uh, if you'll go into your settings, you'll find Universal Access. Now once you've launched into Universal Access, you've got an option here at the top to always show the Universal Access menu. Otherwise, it will appear once you start toggling on some of the uh, different options. So we're going to go ahead and just turn that on. And you'll see here in the top panel, now you've got a list of drop downs. So under Seeing, you've got options for High Contrast, Large Text, Zoom, screen reader as well as sound keys. So we're going to go ahead and toggle on high contrast. And you'll notice here at the dock some of the icons have switched over to a high contrast view. Also in the applications list you'll notice that some of those, well if I could get to it, some of the icons, well not all of them, but some of the system icons have switched over to high contrast. You also have an option for large text so you'll see immediately here in the top panel as well as the drop down menus and throughout settings in file manager the text has enlarged. Now there's also a feature called zoom. Now I've never used zoom before this video um, and so I was a little worried when I first turned it on because it felt to me like I had lost control of my position. However after messing around a little bit with movement of the mouse and everything you're able to access certain areas simply by scrolling the entire desktop. So here we could go into the drop down menu for example. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and toggle that back off. And you've got lots of options within the zoom effect. So you've got crosshairs. You could follow the mouse cursor. Um, you see here full screen. You could change that to top half, bottom half, so on and so forth. You've got magnifier options as well. And color effects. So you could switch, for example, to white on black. You know, so far I've been really impressed with what I've seen with the thought behind um, the accessibility features of GNOME. Actually, I've been very surprised at how good and thorough they are. All right, so the next feature we see here is Screen Reader. So we can turn Screen Reader on simply by clicking. Now this is an area where I'm a little disappointed in that the text-to-speech synthesis is kind of poor. In some cases it's just extremely difficult to understand what is being said by the screen reading application. So we're going to toggle that back off. And then there's an area for sound keys. Next up we have under hearing we have visual alerts. So we'll toggle that on. And you, have, you also have options here between flashing the window title or flashing the entire screen. So we're going to test the flash with the window title. 
and now we'll test the flash with the entire screen. Now we also have typing uh, accessibility features. So you have an on-screen keyboard. You also have repeat keys, cursor blinking, and typing assist. Now for pointing and clicking, you have mouse keys, which you can toggle on, click assist, and double click delay. So again, once you've turned on any of the accessibility features, or what they call universal access features within the GNOME desktop, you'll then get an icon in the top panel that gives you quick access to all of those options. <clears throat> so I think that um, really GNOME, and, and I haven't, again, haven't spent a lot of time with the accessibility features within KDE or XFCE uh, or any of the other Linux desktop options, but I think GNOME offers a pretty good balance and a pretty good selection of accessibility features. Now, in some cases, you will need, I think, maybe a custom distribution that's going to have additional technology, such as the open dyslexic font. And certainly, I think that there could be cases where the head and eye tracking software could come in very useful. So uh, we appreciate the folks over at Sonar GNU Linux for what they're doing. Uh, certainly give that a look. I hope this information helps. Thank you for watching, and we will check you later.